So this is a USB boost converter. It's going to take 5 volt USB power, chunk it up to 24 volt. Uh, it starts with the basic components. You've got a USB cable to get the power. You've got a little output uh, dongle right there. That guy's kind of 5 millimeter jack. And then here is a 3D printed case. I'll have the STL files up so you guys can use that as well. So I drilled holes at opposite corners up at the top. I don't, I don't bother 3D printing those in. Uh, it's usually much cleaner just to drill them later. And uh, I thread the wires through. And uh, here, this is the USB cable. I like saving busted USB cables or broken ones, uh, for that matter, where the, uh, you know, the non-plug into your computer end is gone. So here, you just need the red and the black. Red being uh, positive, black being negative, obviously. Strip off the ends there. We're going to do that with the other end of the uh, barrel jack as well. So here's the little module itself ordered straight off of Amazon. I think it came in a five pack. Each one breaks down to just a few bucks. As you can see, there's solder pads at either end. There's only four points to solder, right? It's input positive, input negative, and then output positive, output negative. Super simple. So in this, I'm just using my little helping hands. You can see that I put heat shrink over the alligator clips. I like doing that because it doesn't chew up the wires whenever you're holding stuff. So just solder in the input and output. But as you can see, I've already threaded the wires through the USB case. Now here, right at the end of the cables on the inside, I put in a zip tie. This is strain relief. So that if you pull on the cable, it uh, it won't come back out of the, uh, the little 3D printed case. Here, I made it where it's a pretty tight fit so you just have to kind of work it in there get it just right make sure it's out of the way of the cables and then you pull them back to the zip ties now you can see that potentiometer up at the top it's a little blue rectangle with a screw so i just plug it in and i dial it in to right about 24 volts using my multimeter here i'm screwing the lid on as you can see i did just two screws one in opposite corners right because uh i mean it's doesn't have to be super hardened. As you can see, the case is shiny too. I take acetone and I paint the 3D printed ABS part. Helps kind of uh, bond all the layers together. As you can see it uh, finished right there. Here I'm using a USB boost power, kind of power pack, you know, that you would charge your cell phone. It goes into a PoE injector and fires up this little map light. So out in the field, this could be any kind of device that you want to power via PoE. Right, so it could be a nano station or uh, Microtech SXT, anything like that, right? So the barrel jack doesn't have to go straight into the radio. You can actually use the passive PoE injector there. As you can see, the barrel jack just plugs straight into the PoE injector, powers it up. Pretty straightforward. One note is plug in your load first. So plug in the radio first and then plug in the battery pack. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.